What's up, YouTubers? Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a common problem, an exhaust leak. Now, an exhaust leak is going to sound kind of like a ticking noise, and that's going to be caused by the air escaping from the exhaust pipe or muffler system. Now, this problem on this car, you can kind of hear it. All right, so here's the exhaust system on this car. Here's the downpipe coming off the exhaust manifold, and it just goes into the rest of the muffler system. And I'm pretty sure I've pinpointed the leak to be coming either from this gasket, this gasket, and there's one more gasket down there. And I've had this apart a couple times, and then I also I ended up replacing the catalytic converter, so I'm pretty sure the guys at the shop didn't uh, end up putting new gaskets in the exhaust pipe. Alright, now if you're not sure where your exhaust leak is, go ahead and inspect all the piping. Look for any rusted out hole spots or, you know, you can actually feel the air coming out of the hole. It'll just be ticking like, psh, 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 and you can feel it with your hand. Just be careful not to burn yourself. So if it's just a little pinhole leak on the exhaust system, you could have a muffler shop weld that up. Or I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to a little muffler patch kit you can use to seal up small holes like that. But um, let's get to taking this front exhaust off. Alright, now that I've got this front one unbolted, uh, I'll go ahead and start the car and let you guys hear it so you can hear what more of a bad exhaust leak will sound like. So it probably won't be this bad, but you know, this is an idea of what it sounds like. Holy smokes, those guys at the mechanic shop welded the nut to the flange so no one would try and steal the catalytic converter. Uh, so hopefully the leak's not back there. I'm gonna have to unbolt it from up here and remove that front section. I think that's where the leak is anyways and replace this gasket in the front one. <sighs> All right, now I should be able to get this whole front section out. Woo, there we go. <laughs> All right, so here's one of those flange gaskets. Now we can check this out. Yeah, this definitely doesn't look like they replaced it when they changed that uh, catalytic converter out. And here's that front part of the muffler system. Yeah, this gasket definitely looks fried. Look at that thing. Alright, so I got the new gaskets, and before we put them on, it's a good idea to go ahead and scrape the surfaces. Make sure they get them really smooth. You can sand them down a little bit too. We just want the mating surface to be as smooth as we can. So we'll have a better chance that it'll seal. Alright, now it's time to put our new exhaust flange gaskets on the front and the back. Alright, now let's slide our pipe back in. There now it's a go. good idea to put some copper anti-seize on the nuts and bolts for your exhaust system. Make it easier to come off next time. Hand tighten all the nuts and bolts on the two flanges. There we go. Now we'll get our torque wrench. Torque them all down to spec. Which is 42 pounds for this car. All right, now the back one. There we go. All right, now let's see if that worked. Hmm, sounds better. All right, let's take it for a little test drive and see if we can hear it. All right, awesome. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see all my upcoming new videos. Leave a comment, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY, guys. Keep on doing it yourself. Take care.